Okay, so this is my junk journal for the Lollipop Box Club journaling class, which starts on Monday. So I decided that I would like to make my book a little bit thicker. So I have widened the spine. So it started off this size here. And to do this, I watched a video on YouTube actually. And the lady had, see where this bit is here? That allowed the extra room for widening it. So this is my daughter's book. So once you've taken the signatures out of the book, you take all this off, mine's just peeled right off. Take all these out. You could then straighten the spine and I cut a bit off chipboard see if you can see that in the top there just in here to that size and just put it between the two folds and then that straightened it out so that was the original size does actually make a big difference and then I added some pom-pom trim so I'm saying that this is little cotton tails from Peter Rabbit inside so there's a little bit of a tag there so a lot of the start is plain pages because this is where we start the book so the tail of Peter Rabbit and again so the whole book is intact so you can still read the book and the publisher's notes kept this and then I can just add on to the pages and then there's the other side of that tag in the front and this one's just sitting in place but you could actually make that a pocket and then it would just in. And there we have some postcard paper and plain on the back so you can add some watercolours or whatever to that. I actually wish I'd added some watercolours paper in now as well. And this is a bit of the lined paper that came in this month's kit. Just pop that in there. another bit of paper from the kit and then if you see in the center this is where it's stitched in place each signature is stitched in and then I wasn't sure if the glue would hold so I used the string again and just wrapped it around the edges not the edges the spine and each of the signatures another little tag from the kit and that's the other side of the Paper. Again, you can pop that down, that makes a little pocket, or you can just set that in there, add it in with a paper clip to hold it in place if you wanted to. So, as you can see, I've kept the whole story. And then, this is a bit of paper from my stash, it's kind of like a, a wax paper, so I'll add that in. It's a plain cardstock. And that's the other side of the cardstock there. And then the other side of the wax paper. that graph paper so this is on to the next signature now Over there so obviously each bit will be double It'll give you the two page extra pages for either side Some more of that graph paper 
graph paper. I do think that would be good in a pocket as well, but then it blocks out some of the picture, so I've just left it like that. Postcard paper. Then the yellow paper. So we have the little envelope that comes in the kit. Just set that in just now, just clipped it on there like that. Again, you can add the paper clip or you can actually glue it in place. Just not got that far yet. And then we have some little bit of paper there, I like different sizes. But that would be nice. And then I could still see the picture or some of the words to the story. And then that's the other side of that one there. And then yellow paper at the end. And there we go. Move that cover, put back in place. And some more pom-pom trim at the back. I did I've had these little mushrooms for about two years. I was actually looking for a bell, but I couldn't find one the right size. And then I see these little mushrooms, I thought they would be perfect. So I've literally just tied them on with string. So there's still plenty of room for me to add for my photos and extra tags and little bits and pieces I want to add in as well. But that's what we have so far. So I hope this was helpful. And can't wait to start the journaling class on Monday.